Hey there, lovely folks. Welcome to today's video, where we're diving deep into the fascinating world of INFJs and their worst fears. You know, we all have our fears, right? But what makes INFJs stand out is how their fears are so unique. And sometimes, well, let's just say they're a tad unexpected. Today, we're going to peel back the layers of the INFJ personality and uncover the nine things that truly terrify them. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. Number 1. Fear of Abandonment, Betrayal, Loss it's pretty common for most people to have a little bit of unease around these things. But for INFJs, it's like cranking up the intensity dial. Why, you ask? Well, it's all about their sensitivity. INFJs are incredibly in tune with their emotions and the emotions of others. It's like they have this radar for picking up even the tiniest shifts in the emotional atmosphere. So when it comes to betrayal or abandonment, these feelings hit them like a tidal wave. Now, to make matters even more complex, past traumatic experiences can turn these fears into full-blown phobias. Think of it as an old wound that's been reopened. These experiences amplify the fear, making it almost paralyzing at times. But here's the thing. INFJs aren't intentionally trying to be closed off or guarded. Their protective measures, like a firewall to keep toxic people out, are meant to shield them from getting hurt again. Unfortunately, sometimes these defenses keep good-natured, healthy, and reliable folks at bay too. It's like building a fortress to protect yourself, but inadvertently locking out potential friends. The real challenge here is trust. Trusting others can feel like tiptoeing through a minefield. They read between the lines so naturally that they take everything with a grain of salt without even realizing it. It's not easy for them to accept love without reservation or to feel like they can be 100% themselves. So, in a nutshell, the fear of abandonment, betrayal, and loss is a monumental hurdle for INFJs to overcome. It's a deep-seated fear that's etched into their psyche, and it takes a lot of courage and patience to navigate through it. Number 2. INFJ's Fear of Rejection You know, this fear isn't exclusive to INFJs. Many sensitive individuals grapple with it, but for INFJs, it can be particularly daunting. Picture this. You've given your all to someone you care about poured your heart and soul into the relationship, protected them, supported them, treated them with respect, and thought they loved you in return. But one day, they wake up, and it's like they've flipped a switch. Suddenly, they don't want you anymore. It's rejection in its rawest form. The emotional impact of this kind of rejection can be absolutely devastating for an INFJ. It's like a punch in the gut, a wound that goes deep. To make matters worse, when there's no honest explanation for the rejection, it leaves them hanging, with no closure in sight. Rejection, especially from loved ones, can create lasting scars. It's a rejection that lingers in the back of the mind, making it hard to move forward. And here's the thing. Closure is vital in resolving conflicts, but it's often missing in cases of rejection. Without closure, INFJs are left feeling like they're stuck in an emotional limbo. So this fear of rejection isn't just about the initial sting, it's about the lasting impact it can have on the sensitive heart and soul of an INFJ. It's a fear that's deeply personal, and it's one of the things that make INFJs so unique in their emotional experiences. And remember, understanding these fears is the first step in breaking down the barriers that hold them back. Number 3. INFJ's Fear of Commitment INFJs are all about deep emotions and intense connections with others. They love with all their hearts, but it's like loving with a superpower. It's incredibly intense, but here's the catch. Their depth of feeling makes them more sensitive to rejection or heartbreak than many other personality types. It's like having the capacity to love harder than anyone else, but it comes at the cost of being more vulnerable to pain. Past experiences especially those involving rejection or heartbreak, can contribute to their fear of commitment. 
It's like they've been there, done that, and got the emotional scars to prove it. They're afraid of putting themselves in a position where they could get hurt all over again. The fear of commitment isn't just about romantic relationships. It can extend to other aspects of their lives as well, like careers or friendships. Sometimes it's about the fear of being hurt or rejected in any situation. But here's the thing. Sometimes you have to take risks if you want something great. And as an INFJ, your ability to connect deeply with people means that when you find someone who truly gets you, it's worth fighting through the fear of getting hurt. It's essential for INFJs to acknowledge where this fear comes from. It might be rooted in past experiences, a general sense of vulnerability, or high standards they set for themselves and their partners. They have an intuition that tells them what feels right and what doesn't. But it's crucial to remember that no one is perfect. So despite the fear, they should consider adjusting their expectations and taking those risks for the sake of meaningful connections and relationships. Because ultimately, it's in those connections that they can find the beauty and depth they long for in life. Number four, fear of conflict. INFJs have this remarkable ability to sense what's needed to create a warm and harmonious social atmosphere. They're like emotional architects constructing spaces for positive interactions to flourish. But here's the flip side of that sensitivity coin. It can be a liability when it comes to dealing with relational conflict. You see, INFJs are so in touch with their own emotions and the emotions of others that they can become overwhelmed by the intensity of negative emotions, like anger, shame, or anxiety. These are particularly painful emotions to experience, especially for such sensitive beings. Moreover, they fear conflict because they fear upsetting others. It's like they carry the weight of the world on their shoulders, and the last thing they want to do is to cause pain to someone else. This fear of upsetting others can paralyze them. But here's an interesting twist. The fear of conflict might also stem from their inability to trust themselves in handling confrontations. It's like they question their ability to protect themselves physically and emotionally in a heated verbal battle. The stress, the tension, it's all so overwhelming. Now here's the good news. The more you practice something, the better you get at it. The same goes for conflicts. If they could learn how to create their own safety in challenging situations and practice dealing with confrontations, they could overcome this fear. It's all about building that confidence one step at a time. So, the fear of conflict, as real as it is for INFJs, is also a fear that can be faced and conquered with time and practice. Number 5. Fear of Failure INFJs are often perfectionists, and their biggest fear, hands down, is the fear of falling short, of not meeting their own exceptionally high standards. This fear isn't confined to just one area of their lives. It tends to cast a wide net. It extends to their relationships, their goals, and perhaps most importantly, their self-worth. The idea of not being perfect or not living up to their own ideals is like a heavy cloud that hangs over them. So what's the emotional impact of this fear? Well, it can be downright crushing. It's like they're constantly striving for excellence, but they're also deeply afraid of stumbling along the way. The fear of failure can eat away at their self-esteem and make them doubt their abilities, even when they're truly gifted. Feeling not good enough can be a constant battle for INFJs. It's like they're trapped in a cycle of self-criticism and self-doubt. This fear can be a significant roadblock in their path to personal and professional growth. But here's the silver lining. Understanding this fear is the first step in overcoming it. Number 6. Fear of Crowds When you think of an INFJ, you might picture someone who's calm and composed, deeply in touch with their emotions. But when it comes to crowds, it's a whole different story. INFJs can easily become overstimulated in large gatherings of people. It's like their sensitivity goes into overdrive. They absorb the emotions of those around them, which can be both a blessing and a curse. In a crowd, it's more of the latter. More than one-third of INFJs 
claim that crowds are a serious cause of anxiety and worry. This fear is often a mix of overstimulation and social anxiety. It's not so much a fear of the crowd itself, but a fear of the sensory overload that can come with it. INFJs are very aware of their surroundings and can easily become overwhelmed by the commotion and the energy in a large crowd. So the fear of crowds is very real for many INFJs, and it's a reminder that their sensitivity, while a gift in many ways, also has its challenges. Number 7. INFJs Fear of Mediocrity INFJs are on a mission to manifest their utopian visions for the world during their lifetime. They're ambitious dreamers who aim high, and their most significant fear is that slowly, over time, their dreams and ambitions will be beaten out of them by the daily grind of what society often expects. Think about the mundane, uninspiring, cookie-cutter lifestyle that many people seem to fall into. The 9-to-5 routine, the TV dinners, the repetitive tasks, it's a far cry from the vivid dreams and ideals that INFJs hold. They fear becoming just another cog in the wheel, just another person stuck in the rat race. Now, you might think, well, isn't this a tad dramatic? But for INFJs, it's a real fear that's always lurking in the background. Their dreams and visions are their guiding stars, showing them what to strive for. But the fear of mediocrity is like a shadow, reminding them what to run away from. While it may sound dramatic, this fear of mediocrity is a powerful driving force. It's what keeps INFJs reaching for the stars, striving for something greater. It's their innate desire to leave a lasting mark on the world, to make it better in their unique way. So, for all you INFJs out there, remember this. Don't let the fear of mediocrity hold you back. Keep your dreams alive, pursue your passions, and stay true to your ideals. It's your uniqueness that makes the world a more interesting place. Number 8. INFJ's Fear of Phone Calls Phone calls are random, and INFJs prefer structured routines for control and predictability. Unless it's a pre-planned call, they won't answer. Random calls disrupt their routines, leading to stress. Moreover, phone calls can be disruptive. INFJs cherish their solitude, which helps them focus and think deeply. Phone calls interrupt this state and are annoying. Answering a call may also make INFJs self-conscious. Their chameleon-like ability to match energies with others, driven by extroverted feeling, FE, can be awkward on the phone. They become critical of their own conversation. Furthermore, phone calls can make INFJs feel objectified. They value their time and dislike being called for insignificant reasons. Lastly, phone calls are often time-consuming and inefficient. INFJs prefer efficient communication. So, INFJs' fear of phone calls isn't about being unfriendly. It's rooted in their need for structure, love of solitude, self-consciousness, efficiency, and desire for meaningful connections. Number 9. Fear of Being Alone INFJs frequently experience feelings of loneliness, even when they're surrounded by friends and family. It's not that they don't love the people close to them. It's just that they often feel like they're not truly understood. It's like there's a veil that separates them from the rest of the world. This difficulty in feeling understood can be a persistent challenge. The INFJ's complex nature, their unique way of viewing the world, and their profound insights can make it hard for them to find like-minded individuals. They don't quite fit the mold of what's considered normal, and that can be isolating. And here's where it gets even more complex. INFJs often internalize their feelings of being different. They blame themselves and feel like there must be something deeply wrong with them. It's like a self-imposed guilt for being who they are. But here's the truth. There's nothing wrong with being unique. In fact, it's their uniqueness that makes INFJs so fascinating and valuable. It's their depth of feeling and their ability to see the world in a way that no one else can that sets them apart. So for all you INFJs out there, 
Remember this, you're not alone in feeling alone. You're not the only one who sometimes feels like a stranger in a familiar world. Embrace your uniqueness and know that there are others out there who will appreciate and understand you for who you are. We'd love to hear your experiences and insights. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share our content.